50. He was just 63 years old. Salute, family. This is your evening read, your evening get together. You know, YouTube has really, really been banning me and really watching and, and really doing their best to hinder me from getting the message out to my people about what's going on with this Young Dolph case and a lot of other things beneficial to my people thereof. Salute, family. I want to thank you for joining your brother. Lord God, Allah, bow heads, eyes closed. Father God, Allah, we come humbly before your throne with a bowed head and a humbled heart. Thus praying, Father God, to be constantly and continuously guided along the straight path. The path of those that incur your love, your mercy, your care, and your concern. Not the path of those that go astray and associate in partners with you. The path of those that incur your wisdom, your knowledge, and your divine understanding. Not the path of those that go astray after learning the truth and, and, and thoroughly of you. The path of those that incur your insight after the best of decencies and the best of morals. For we know me and my watches, my, my watches, there are guardian angels whom you assign. Whenever two or three are gathered together in the midst, you are there also. We bear witness that there is no God but Allah whom came in the person. Oh, Master W. Fed Eyed Muhammad, to whom praises is due to, for you, to you, for coming through forever. All praises go up to the Most High Lord of the Worlds. All the worlds. See, yes, I do. You live, live, love, what? Yes, I do, and the Muhammad dead. Yes, I do, by Rasulullah. You know, beloved, I come humbly before you today. If you were wondering what I just said, you can go and consult the scholars. All I said was, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. That Muhammad is his messenger and servant. You know, Father God, family you know this particular incident with our beloved brother rapper young Dolph is going to, young Dolph is going to take a sit down a sit down between the bosses when i say the bosses i mean the bosses not nobody being over nobody i'm talking about the OGs that are here we need to have a sit down all the OGs that there are some issues with. We don't need to involve no authorities. We need to keep them people out of our business. But most of these rap labels have been infiltrated. And so them people is already inside of them rap labels. So one way or the other, we still must, it is what it is. You know, Gucci Mane dropping videos and albums or what have you with the ops people that if his so-called friend young Dolph King Dolph was here he wouldn't be you know he would stay out of the beef well, now since Dolph is gone it seems like everybody is acting like some hunkies and some dories you know they're acting very hunky dory you know, hunky dory don't mean what don't you know what white folks think it means. Not to me. To me, it means they're acting very hunkyish and very dorish. That's a fucking lady. We need to have a sit down. I mean, we need to come together one way or the other as a community to help curb this violence and put a stop to it. Don't nobody know what Snoop Bands was? was Don't nobody know what Key Glock was? Awesome. All we know is when they all pulled into Makita's, the raven bird up top was flying around, dropping diarrhea cookie locations. That's all we know. And we also over understand, overstand that there was a black vehicle present on that day that they assassinated our, our dear brother, Young Dolph. 
Now, beloved brothers and sisters, we're not going to pussy for a camel toe. The way that we have been treating our women is wrong. It's very dirty. It's time to clean it up. Nobody would have ever been able to get close to Dolph or any one of us out there without the agency or without any one of us being able to go to heaven without the agency of a woman. If we treat our women like queens, we don't have to worry about them setting us up. But some women are just set you up anyway just to get the bag. Keeping it real is getting the F away from where you made your money. You'll come up. Oh, I, I wish he was in Chicago on that day. Even though Chicago is the murder capital, I still he would have been safer where he was born at. Females set up dogs. Along with the opposition. And everybody got different accounts as to what they were. And everybody got his jury. And I want y'all to go back and look at the footage that I posted when they was having the party. I said look in the woods, look in the trees, look at the footage. When they first start. You know when the youngster come out and he pulled water on the, the man. And they grab him and they throw him in the pool. Go back and look at the footage. And we have an announcement come, coming out. Our attorneys are telling us we still got to wait before we release this information. For the most part, I want each and every one of y'all to know that a man is only as good as the woman that stands beside him. Our beloved brother, Young Dolph, is gone. He's gone. But not ever forgotten. He's gone from the physical form. But good men and real men of God don't die. We multiply. Our women should be taught to us by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan at the forefront of everything. So now you have everybody running around Pretty much just acting like everything is going to go. You, you're not going to be able to produce another Dolph. It's not going to happen. He was the last child of Lord when everybody pulled in there, the door was open, already unlocked in the back. The killers was already in there, and it was some more around back. The camera footage of when they all pulled in there, and when they all pulled out, Marcus ain't going to say nothing. He from the streets. You dig what I'm saying? We honor the street code to a limit, to a limit. If you see my wife out or you see my mother out, you don't violate that. Where I come from in the South, we ain't gonna mess with your mama. When we see you, we gonna deal with you. And with all these white youngsters and these whole hotties, Is running around here being Oreo cookied and being do boys. He that teaches you independence is the best thing for you. Because if I teach you independence, not only will I feed you for this day. But I'm teaching you through independence how to feed yourself, how to go to work on a cohesive plan, how to feed yourself, and how to teach your families how to feed themselves, and go to work on a cohesive plan, and how to feed themselves, and create a job for themselves. Not for the day, but for a lifetime. In the name of Almighty God, Allah, beloved brothers and sisters, I love y'all. It don't cost nothing to hit the like button. I am your beloved brother. I am not your dog. Let's not get nothing twisted. 
I'm not your dog. It don't cost nothing to subscribe. I'm only doing what I can to reach my people. I'm doing my best to get a building for my people so we can commune. There's a lot to discuss. It don't cost nothing to hit the like button. Let's treat our women good. Because when we don't, when you think you're ducking your ops, when your ops can't get to you, a piece of booty can. Because she'll come smiling, and you'll come gleaming. And it's a terrible thing. Before I go, Almighty God, Allah, has told me that I should share something with you, beloved. It goes like this. Patience is the key which solves all problems. We desire to... That is the call for prayer. We desire to decrease two things to our children. The first one is roots. The other thing is wings. All praise is due to Allah. Allah is calling us to pray. Beloved brothers and sisters. Plain and simple. These people. These people set up young dogs. 